Thanks, cat lovers, and welcome to the very first episode of Dear Tabby, the cat advice show online. And I'm your host, Kristen Levine, uh, the founder of the Pet Living blog for the Pet Obsessed. And joining me today for Dear Tabby is Dr. Liz Bales. Hi, Doc. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. So you are not only a veterinarian, but you are also an inventor. I am. And you've dedicated your entire career to making life better for cats, right? That's it. Yeah. I mean, what could be better than that? I can't think of anything. <laughs> that's awesome. And I love the little kitty behind you. Yeah, that's Phoebe. That's Phoebe. Oh, cool. Not today. <laughs> so, um, and I also want to tell you that our friends at World's Best Cat Letter are making this Dear Tabby show possible. So we want to say a big thank you to them. They are the, that's the only litter I use for my cats and it's all natural. So it's an excellent choice if you're looking for an all natural litter. Speaking of litter, our first Dear Tabby question is about the litter box. So are you ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Dear Tabby, my five-year-old female cat won't use her litter box consistently, even though I scoop it every day. So can we help her? We can totally help her. These problems can be complicated, but sometimes they're really simple to fix. The most important thing to look at when you're starting out is your litter box. Because you're probably choosing what's most convenient for you. But you know what's really convenient? When your cat goes to the bathroom in the litter box. <laughs> Absolutely, way more convenient. <laughs> We want to choose a litter box that the cat wants, and it it's, it takes a little thought. So let's talk about it. Okay. When we're thinking about a litter box, our cat wants a master bathroom. <laughs> the veterinary science shows that a cat wants a litter box. It's about the size of the cat from the tip of the nose to the tip of the tail, and then 50% more. Oh. So that is a really big litter box. They don't want to have to squeeze into a tiny space. They really are looking for this nice big master bathroom. Okay. I actually make my own litter boxes. Um, okay. I'm going to show you. Okay. Show let me see. Okay. Oh it's, my goodness. It's pretty giant. <laughs> I make two holes That's so cool. that the cat has a choice of where to go in or out. But I use this big uh, Tupperware kind of thing um, to make my own litter box because it's really hard to find a big enough litter box in the store. Now, now, Doc, I noticed you don't have a lid on that box. That's intentional, I assume. You know, most cats don't like a cover litter box. And the reason for that is the smell. So cats really want a super clean litter box. It's like this bathroom that I'm about to show you right here. This one, pristine. Uh -huh. uh, they want to use a super clean bathroom, wouldn't you? Of course. Okay, so you want a great big litter box, not one like this, because this is probably what most of us would prefer, right? Nice, small, little petite litter box. That postage stamp isn't going to cut it. <laughs> it's not going to cut it. So if it. But it would work for a kitten, right? Maybe? It, that would be great for a kitten, but think about from the tip of the nose to the tip of the tail, and then 50% more. Right, you're right. It won't work. Okay. <laughs> so, and then, now you have this great big litter box, you actually are going to need a fair amount of litter. Cats want to be able to have that soft feel under their feet, and most cats want to be able to cover their litter. So, again, veterinary scientists found that somewhere between one and a half to two inches of litter, you can actually, till you get the hang of it, you actually use a ruler, okay. um, that you want to know that you've got about that two inches of litter in the litter box. Too much, and they might choose a different spot to use the bathroom. Too little, same thing. All right. So you've got a big litter box, nice and roomy, um, the length of your cat's nose to tail plus 50%, and then yep. one and a half to two inches of litter. All right, we're off to a great start. World's best cat litter. Yes, of course. <laughs> of course. And then we want to keep it clean. Yeah. Okay. So we talked about, are you really scooping it twice a day? And, and our, our letter writer might be, but some, some of us can forget. Right? Sure. So, if, would you want to use a bathroom like this? No. 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 So, it's easy enough for think, yeah. oh, I did it yesterday, you know. Mm. But your cat really wants a pristine litter box. Scooping it twice a day and dumping it once a month could be your whole fix. Right. Could be your whole fix. Okay. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this, Doc, because this is obviously ideal 
ideal scenario for your cat's litter box. And if your cat is not using litter, litter box consistently like our um, letter writer today, then these are all things that you should change. But what if your cat is, what if you're not doing everything right, but your cat is using the litter box consistently? Well, you know, I would say if it isn't broke, you might not want to fix it. Right. And cats like choice. So if things are going well for you, that's great. You might want to leave it as it is, but you might want to add another box to give your cat another choice. Sure. So what the, our rule of thumb is that a rule of paw, <laughs> that we want to have the number of cats that we have, mm -hmm. have that many litter boxes, plus one, here's the kicker though, in separate locations in the house. Okay, so not lined up like in the picture. So what we're seeing in the picture is to a cat, that's one litter box, not three. Ah, oh, interesting. Three. Okay. So you want different locations in the house. So okay. if things are going well for you, um, you might just want to add a litter box and keep your eye on it. And then you're going to see what your cat's preferences are. But um, if things are going well, you might, might leave it alone. Gotcha. Okay. Roomy litter box, inch and a half to two inches. Clean it, scoop it twice a day, empty it completely and start fresh every month. And then have one extra litter box, per, like one litter box per kitty plus one. And then placing them in different areas of the home. Yeah, and that can be a challenge. That can be a challenge when you're trying to think about it for the first time. Sure. Um, we want to tend to put them in the place that's like the most out of the way, um, you know, hide it in the boiler room and that kind of thing. But the, your cat actually wants a nice, clean, safe place to use the restroom. So um, that can take some creativity. So, you know, I, I always want to add, if things aren't going well and your cat's going to the bathroom outside the litter box or there's a big change, always a good idea to take your cat to the vet and make sure that this isn't a health problem. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and this is great information even for folks whose cats may not have a litter box issue because um, I had a scenario recently where my cat, who was uh, Olivia, who always uses her box, suddenly stopped. So mm -hmm. this is great information for, for everybody really that has a cat. And if this helped you or if you think it would help a friend, please share this video or um, comment, give us a comment below. If you have your own cat conundrum that you're dealing with, um, go ahead and put your question uh, to Dr. Bales right there in the comments and we just might select your question. So anything else, Dr. Bales, on litter boxes? We got it. And so from here, we're, we can talk about all the various and sundry things that can go wrong, but this is Litter Box 101. Awesome. Love it. And again, thanks again to our friends at World's Best Cat Litter, maker of the premium natural litter. It's made from corn. It's 99% dust free. Um, it's flushable, which I love. And it's people, pet, and planet friendly. So um, until next time, um, we'll see you later on Dear Tabby. Bye.